All right, we're back. Got the car up on jacks. And today we're going to be installing the new bump steer kit from Mike Meyer. So we'll get that going and see how it goes. Yeah, just a quick comparison from the old bump steer to the new one. So as you can see, the old one has a uh, an angle and a ball joint. And the new one is one made out of billet aluminum. Obviously you can see the, the clamps are much sturdier. Uh, but it has the heim joint in it and it's straight. All right, so plan B, I cannot get this nut loosened. I just can't get enough torque on it from this position to get it loose. So plan B, I'm just gonna take this whole tie rod off, gonna unbolt it up here and here, take it off and get it in the vise and get this off. Okay, so I have it in place, getting there. It's loose, of course. One thing I just want to point out is um, if you notice the lower control arm, it's, it's drooping right now. Um, it's kind of actually in its natural state right now, but once the car is lowered, this lower control arm is gonna be essentially horizontal, perpendicular with the ground. So if you can imagine that, and then this is going to be something like that. Okay, so I got the, the bump steer all installed. It's all bolted in. Uh, the, uh, the brackets uh, aren't completely torqued down. Um, because obviously this can have to be realigned at some point, but it's fairly close. I measured the other side and just I uh, did the best I could on getting it matched uh, the same way. But what I've done here now is I've went ahead and I jacked up the control arm. And you can see it's pretty almost horizontal, almost a, a complete 90 to the ground. Not quite. But that's as far as my jack will go. And so you can see how that ties in. Very nice. 